Ciao everyone, I'm Rosa Larago and welcome back to Cooking with Nonna. Today I'm here with my favorite nonna ever, my very own nonna Romana. Nonna, say hello. Hello everybody. <laughs> and what are we going to cook today? Today I got to cook broccoli, salchicha e orecchiette barese. Mm. It's a very good plate. This is one of my favorite Italian comfort food dishes. Uh, where we're from, you eat orecchiette with broccoli rabe and also with broccoli and with a little bit of sausage in it. It's just so yummy and savory. And this is actually such a quick meal to whip up. It comes together in under 20 minutes and everyone is going to love this. Now I just want to introduce some of the ingredients. Very simple. We got some broccoli florets. You can use the stems too, but Nonna likes to use the florets because why? This is the, the oh, I don't nice like part. better. <laughs> we have some sausage removed from the casing, pork sausage. But you can use any sausage you want. You want to use turkey sausage, chicken sausage, anything you like. Totally cool. And we have our sliced garlic, some red pepper flakes, and more importantly, our orecchiette. So we're using dried orecchiette. Nonna didn't make these herself. She can make these. Oops, I lost one. But uh, if you are going out and buying orecchiette, I just want to point something out. If you live somewhere where there aren't a lot of Italian specialty stores and you just have, you know, some commercial pastas that, uh, that make orecchiette, totally fine. Some of them can be a little bit smooth, though. So you want to try and look for orecchiette that have a nice, rough, scratchy surface. And that's going to absorb so much more flavor, so much more sauce if you cook it in a sauce. So really try and go for orecchiette that have really beautiful texture like this. And also, I want to point out that since we're using dry orecchiette, these take a long time to cook. Right, Nonna? Yeah. How long do they take for cooking? 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. Yeah. Never really less. 15 to 18 mm -hmm. even. You know, it just depends on the different, uh, on the different brands that you that you find, but these will take a long time to cook. If they're fresh, they're going to take a, a much shorter time to cook, but even fresh orecchiette, mm -hmm. si prende no, tempo a little bit. No, less, uh, less time. Less time yeah. than this, but pure yeah. orecchiette freschi ci vuole un po' più tempo. Well, at the time they boil, they got to boil about five minutes after you can put the broccoli. Yeah. Yeah. So if we were using fresh orecchiette, we would be boiling the broccoli first, and then we would drop in the pasta. Since we're using dry orecchiette, we're going to add the pasta to the pot first, and then we're going to add the broccoli for about the last five to seven minutes, because we don't want the broccoli to be a little too mushy. We want it to come together nice, and we want the pasta to get the flavor of the broccoli by cooking it in the same water. This is a very pugliese method of making pasta with vegetables. Okay, some salted boiling water, and I'm just going to add our pasta. And get this going. No, no, me dai un cucchiaio. Thank you. Give it a quick stir. And in the meantime, while our yeah. pasta cooks, what are we going to do, Nonna? I got to make a salchicha. Okay, so yeah. Nonna's going to come over okay. here. First, I got to put oil. I think it's enough, this one. Huh? I think it's enough, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next, I got to put the salchicha. We're going to just wait for our oil to get a little bit hot. And mm -hmm. for the complete recipe and full list of ingredients, just remember to head to cookingwithnona.com and we'll have the full recipe there for you. Nona likes, uh, likes to just... I got a turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For cook salsuccia first. Okay. okay. Here you go. Okay. Now, I personally like the sausage with the fennel. If you don't, you don't have to use the fennel one at all. You can use any sausage you like. Okay. okay. And we're just going to start browning this. And we're mm -hmm. not putting the garlic first, just because I don't want the garlic to burn in the, it, with the sausage if it's in there too long. Yeah, first uh, I got to make a little cook of salchicha. First I got to put garlic. Gollics. Mm -hmm. The gollics are my favorite. You like gollics? Oh, I love her. Yeah, 
I love it so much. Garlic. Now just make sure that when you have your wooden spoon in here, you're breaking up the sausage into little pieces as you saute. Just break it up, break it up, break it up. Because you want there to be nice bite-sized pieces with that little char on the outside. When the pieces of sausage are too big, it doesn't really come together in the dish as well. So we want to make those pieces nice and small. Yeah. When they're small pieces, so they cook better, you know? Okay, so now that we've browned the sausage mostly and we start to see a little bit of char on the sausage, I'm going to go in and add my garlic and the red pepper flakes. Yeah. You gotta cook a little bit. And just give that a nice quick stir and keep sauteing your sausage. That is so beautiful. That's exactly what I love. When the pieces mm -hmm. have a little bit of color. Yeah. This part a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not supposed to tell me anything because I know I cook a lot of years. All my life. I think maybe, maybe you forget sometimes. You don't forget? No. I don't forget nothing. I remember everything. <laughs> I started to cook when I was 12 years old. My mother. Oh, yeah? Hey, yeah, the, because she knows every time she worked in the store. And she said, you got to take care of my, my mother. She has seven kids. I am all, the old one. I, I, don't start, think, I don't think I'm going to have seven kids. I started to work, uh, you know, cook in the house. And, I do everything. No, no, I don't think I, I can have seven kids. No, now nobody ever. <laughs> Almost nobody ever has a lot of kids now. Before, uh, too much work. Really <laughs> no good. Ever really? Lot, no good. They have a lot of kids. No, no. Awesome. I see my mother, she works too much. This plate uh, smells very good. I love it so much. Very good. When you see a little piece more big than that one. Yeah, you gotta you gotta cut, you know. Try and cut it with the yeah. with the spoon. Divide, divide. Mm -hmm. Sausage, some people sit, think that they can, you know, brown their sausage, saute their sausage, walk away, stir it. It's really something you gotta spend some time with. Make sure those pieces are nice and small. Because I am a stickler for nice bite-sized pieces of sausage. Think of this one. See? I show you. Ah, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you see baby. You see better than me. <laughs> so now that the pasta is about halfway cooked through, a little bit more than halfway cooked through, it's got about five, six minutes to go, I'm going to add the broccoli. Uh, you don't want to over overcook the broccoli. You want it to be nice and, and soft, still have a tiny bit of bite. But what I love about boiling the pasta and the broccoli together is that the broccoli are going to break down once we saute that, after they've been boiled and once we saute them with the sausage. And they're going to kind of like cream up with this dish. I love, love, love this. Okay. We want to give this a nice stir. So our pasta and broccoli are beautiful and al dente. Our sausage is perfectly crisp. And now it's time to move it into the pan. Yeah. Now all the yellow you, you see in the, in the middle of the, all the, this. the pendola, you know, they go away because uh, they got to have some juice for the pasta broccoli. Oh, yeah. And they have a good taste. See, that's all going to come out, and it's yeah. all going to go into the flavor Very of our dish. Good. So good. So now we're just going to toss this all together. Beautiful. And I love the orecchiette because they have, you know, they catch all the sausage right in there. Yeah. That's why you want to get those little tiny bits of sausage. You don't want those big pieces. Very good dish. Very good. I love it. Malto very good. Mm -hmm. 
So again, if you want your broccoli a little bit harder or a little bit softer, just use your judgment. If you want it softer, add the broccoli to the pasta a little bit earlier. If you like it with a lot more bite, add it just the last few minutes. That's all you really need. It's totally up to you. When I was growing up, my family loved to eat the broccoli that just like melted in your mouth. And I that's how I, I like everything. to have it. Once in a while, that's how I like to have it. Just it reminds me. Maybe you need some juice. You came to the... Yeah, that, that water. Shop. You yeah, think we're going to like throw away that water. Yeah. Nonna's going to like save that water and drink it. <laughs> some people, they do that. I put it, you know, they put it in the fridge. It's good. Why is it good? good? drink that, not real water. Why <laughs> is it good to drink that? Well, they have a vitamin, you know. Maybe not if she boils pasta in it, but if she boils like vegetables, like broccoli rabe, she'll definitely save the water. <laughs> and mm -hmm. she drinks it and, and she, she, I mean, she's right. There's vitamins in that water, but. Oh, yeah. That's old school. Oh, and it's look. A, it's a better, you know, drink uh, plain water. It's good. No, it's no, good. no. Uh, isn't this good? Yeah, it looks good. Okay. I think this looks so, yeah, so delicious. Yeah, good. I think to top it off, we're just going to do a little bit of aglio a crudo, just a little filo. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that is nice. How look, do you think? Look good. You want to eat? Yeah, sure. I want to test. I can't wait. Yeah, you, you, uh, you worked and now you got to uh, eat. Yeah, sure. I got to test. <laughs> looks so delicious and see what I mean about the broccoli really breaking down and mm -hmm. creaming together Ooh. in Italiano they say piatto unico you can mm -hmm. <laughs> you have a first plate a second plate because they, they have a meat inside first course and second course yeah oh this is so good wow I want that nice piece of broccoli on here. That looks perfect. Oh my god, I can't stop. I can't stop. It's just like so pretty. There we go. Wow. It's so good. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And if you really want to take this next level, you don't have to do this, but you can. You can totally do some toasted breadcrumbs on top of this. That would be fantastic. You can, if you want to do cheese, you can do cheese. I would do some pecorino on this if I was going to do cheese. Nonna never had cheese with it. No, I don't like. And why? Because uh, I never, I don't like cheese in, in the broccoli. In, in the broccoli wrap, I never put cheese. Some people, they put a lot of cheese. Nonna yeah. Romana doesn't mm -hmm. put cheese. But other nonna may put cheese, and I love them too. Anybody that puts cheese on this pasta, you're not wrong. You do you. We're going to do us, and we're going to taste this right now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a piece of broccoli. <laughs> you got it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. You like? So good, so good yeah. right? So, so good. The ricotta come good though. al dente. And you get a nice, you get mm -hmm. some nice sausage right inside, like the shell of the orecchietta. It's perfect. Perfect. Very mm. good. They cook all al dente, broccoli e orecchietta. Mm -hmm. The broccoli. Very good. It's very tender good enough taste. that it really creamed, it mm -hmm. really creamed up, but it's, uh, it's got enough bite that it held its, it held the florets together. The pasta is perfectly al dente. There is nothing I don't love about this entire dish. And Nonna and I are going to say goodbye because we've got some eating to do between the both of us. So, Nonna, thank you for being my Nonna today and every day. Mwah! Thank you for you because you <laughs> learn very well everything Nonna teaches you. <laughs> okay, we got to eat now. So, say bye bye, everybody. Okay. Bye bye, everybody.